Something weird just happened with Credit Suisse. After doubts about the bank's capitalization and strategy sent its credit default swaps skyrocketing over the weekend, its stock slumped on Monday. Now its shares are back above Friday's close, and it's time to ask, what was that all about? Here with me to talk about the state of Switzerland's second biggest lender are Elizabeth Rodman, head of European financials at DBRS Morningstar. That's our in-house credit rating agency, as well as Johan Scholz, analyst for European banking stocks. Thanks for joining me. Let's start with the credit side of things. Elizabeth, is there really cause for concern with Credit Suisse's fundamentals? So as a, a credit rating agency, yes, we do have concerns about Credit Suisse and we act, and we have a, a negative trend on our rating of the bank. However, some of the more recent concerns seem to be based not upon new information. We already know that Credit Suisse has been going through a very challenging period. It's had a lot of um, sizable risk management failures, worse than many of its peers, and it's had a lot of management change, senior management changes. So everyone needs to see a plan coming out from Credit Suisse, which will explain how they're going to stabilize the franchise and and get the back, bank back on an even keel. So those are the things that we're focusing on. The, the latest financial information would indicate that they have um, sufficient capital and liquidity at that point in time. But if they are going to but the, to make the changes they need, they will possibly need more capital. And clearly, that is what people are focused on. So there are very real challenges to address. Johan, what does this mean for shareholders of Credit Suisse? Yes, Lucas, I think um, we've clearly seen that the share price is discounting the possibility um, of, a, of a capital call or, or, or a rights issue. And uh, yeah, obviously at these uh, uh, depressed valuation levels, such a rights issue can be uh, very expensive and very dilutive uh, for shareholders. How big of an impact could we be looking at in terms of its share price? Well, you know, yeah, I think that's 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 a tricky one. Um, it's it's the extent to to what extent is it already being priced in, um, and to what extent um, is it not being priced in? And you know, I think uh, what you what you could potentially see is uh, Credit Suisse will really have to eat that sweet spot um, in terms of where it's raising enough capital to assuage concerns, um, and but not raise too much capital uh, to actually actually cause further damage to the share price. Of course, the capital raise isn't the only thing that's expected. The bank is expected to roll out a new strategy on October 27th. What should shareholders be looking for that day? Yes, I think um, what shareholders really want clarity about at this stage is exactly what the bank is going to look like going forward. There's a lot of speculation. Are they going to sell uh, bits of the investment bank? Are they going to sell the whole investment bank? Um, are they going to sell asset managers? So, you know, I think the first thing that needs to be addressed is shareholders needs clarity in terms of what exactly is Credit Suisse going to constitute uh, going forward. Um, and then, you know, I think secondly, and that's a tricky one to address, um, is the continued uh, uh, risk management failures, um, as has been addressed. And I think, you know, shareholders would probably not be averse to Credit Suisse taking a kitchen sinking approach and, you know, really go out there and uh, raise provisions for all outstanding issues and try and draw a land, line in the sand. Now, is there anything that bond investors separately are looking for that Johan hasn't mentioned so far, Elizabeth? I think I'd say at this point, bond investors, shareholders, were all looking at the same things in terms of the for the strategy of the bank and and um, and the announcements coming forwards. We we've seen banks in this situation before where they've um, faced a lot of um, there's a lot of market concern. Uh, Deutsche Bank a few years back was facing. Um, Similar questions, they managed to come together with a strategy which they've executed on and has improved the stability of the bank. So I think we'll be all focusing on similar issues for Credit Suisse. So clearly the lender needs to deliver to gain back investors' trust. Thank you both for joining me today. For Morningstar, I'm Lucas Strobel.